All right, and I think a few days with the Steam Deck has given me a good idea how I feel about it. So, why not tell you guys? Without further ado, let's go. We're gonna get everybody's favorite specs out the way. Uh, AMD APU, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, the model I have is 512 gigabytes of high speed NVMe SSD. And the display you got 1280 by 800 PX 16 by 10 aspect ratio, a seven inch IPS LCD screen, 60 Hertz refresh rate, Bluetooth 5.0. And you know what? You got a, a headphone jack 3.5 millimeters, a micro SD card slot for you can expand it to how many gigs you want, I think. I don't know how much it actually takes. 45 watt power supply and the battery lasts two to eight hours depending on what game you play it could last less than that or longer than that if you don't play it <laughs> but you guys know all that good stuff so i think those are all the specs out y'all need to have all right and those are your specs for you guys i know you could have just looked them up but why don't i just tell you since you're watching the video anyway so let's just take a tour around the steam deck you know touch pads you can touch them, click them in. They work all pretty good. They work pretty good. You got your Steam button over there. Your OS button. You got your function button. You got your start and your capture and all that good stuff. You got your D-pad. You got your thumbsticks. You got your XYBA over here. Down here. You already know what that is. I told you earlier. Um, you, know, you got your grips on the side. Now let's go to the top. You got your, your up and down volume button. Your microphone jack. Your charging button and the power button your lbrb lbrb uh r1 r2 r r1 r l1 l2 so you got your x y b a buttons here then you got your your r1 and your r2 hmm so didn't playstation have r1 and r2 and then xbox had these or am i just making up some stuff didn't they have lb and rb and triggers you know what, I'm, I'm talking to myself at this point. And then you got your back, you got your threes, or your, uh, you got your, your L4 and your L5 and your R4 and your R5 because um, these are the threes, the clicks. All right, and that's the tour of the Steam Decks up. I didn't tell you you got bits. This is your out bit, this is your in bit. But with the, with the, with the grips on it, let's see if I can show you guys real fast. But with the uh, with the grips, it sits away from the table, so you can get airflow through it. That's that's that. So and what's next? Let's turn this thing on. Let's run through some stuff. Up, oh, I was playing Street Fighter earlier, but not anymore. So you can exit a game pretty quickly by just pressing the Steam button. Yep, Steam button, go over, exit game, and then confirm. That's actually, oh, that's actually a pretty good move. You can just press the Steam button and you get all this over here pops up. You got your home, your library, the store, your friends and chat, the media, the downloads, the settings, the power, and I didn't need to do that. Let's go back settings and then you can turn it off from here if you want it but it but instead of going to power you got some other options you can go to sleep you can shut this thing down you can restart this thing you can change accounts and you could switch to desktop mode which we'll do that now and look it's all on desktop mode now you're back up in here all up in here and this is where you can get your blizzard your blizzard.net if you want to do uh call of duty or whatnot off, off steam os and if you wanted to go back you could just they have a button right here a button you can't <laughs> they have an app you can just click on and a few moments later which didn't take that long bam you're back in Steam OS. Okay. Well, a little longer than I thought it would be. Okay. Oh, I had to restart to do it, I guess. I didn't think it had to earlier. 
All right, now we're back in Steam OS. And then you can turn it off, you know, you can just either go to what I just showed you or you can press this button. Bam, now it's off. And put come on. Bam, now it's back on just that fast. That's something I do like actually like. And then on this side, let's go ahead and get this one out the way. You got just all your quick settings, your, your brightness, your audio, your microphone, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, night mode, game rumble, Steam haptics, which actually are pretty cool when you're doing the thing. Then you got your friends. You can see what friends are online right now. And then you got notifications. And then you got the battery. And then if y'all didn't see the gameplay, you can do your overlay. You can see what your FPS is running. The, the higher you go up on here, the more information on the screen they'll give you. But since, you know what, we're not doing gameplay, I just turn it off, so my battery's not draining as fast. But it's gonna depend on what game I play. And then you got help. Other than that, you get your Steam Deck, you play with it, you download it, and the updates will pop up on the screen. And that's that, that's, ba that's the basics of it, man. That is the basics of it. I can't wait for you guys to get your own and you can start playing with it yourself, giggity. That's some things you might wanna know when you come when you get your own. All right, and then you can download your games off Steam and do whatever. We done, we done done all that. I know it's a lot of information to take hold of, but you guys can get that, you guys can get that. All right, now we can go with the likes and the dislikes. Let's start with the dislikes, that's what I'm hearing, so. It's a learning curve. Y'all take this with a grain of salt. It could be a like to you, a dislike to somebody else. But for me, it was a learning curve trying to play up here. It took it took a second. I'm used to it now. The buttons, are, you know, they're a little small, but you kind of got to be accurate with them. I try to press X sometimes, and I end up hitting this button, which is annoying. And the first first time before the learning curve, you know. And then a D-pad, it's not the greatest D-pad on the planet. It's not the terriblest, it's not the worst. Yeah, it's not the worst, but it's also not the greatest D-pad, but it works. The thumbsticks are okay. They, they have no grip to them at all. Like it's smooth surface, It it is so smooth. And they're, they're small, but you're gonna need some thumbstick grips. These things, it kind of slides in my hand sometimes. I mean, not really because, but sometimes you can feel it wobbling a little bit. And then one of my most terrible ones that I didn't didn't like was um, that the RB is so far back instead of on a... <laughs> See, when I first started playing this, I wanted to press up here, but that would do nothing. So it's down here and... I kept getting on my nerves at first, but now it's, it's starting to get better, but I wanted to go move higher than I thought I would. But the only gripes I got was the buttons, the, the, uh, the track pads worked marvelously. Oh, and the grips, they, they work, they work great. I just wish they were a little wider. That's all. I just wish like, I mean, you could grab them, you can grip them like this, but your hand is kind of like squished in. If they're a little wider, they'd be better, but they, they're not a deal breaker Although, for us. We ain't gonna call them bad, we're just gonna call them neutral. That's all I got for them. Other than that, it's a great device. The good things, good things. They're the best grips in the game right now, man. They are, it fits, it fits nice. I don't feel it. I mean, I wish they were wider, but the deepness of it, at least to get my whole hand around it and I don't have to choke off the, I don't have to choke off the, the vents on the back, trying to hold it. So, I wish they were a little wider, but I don't feel myself going to the vents. Uh, I like the, the OS system that I showed you a little while ago. I like all that quick function ability. I like how fast it turns on and off. I like how fast it turns on and off. The volume is great. Uh, I don't feel it getting hot at all. Uh, and then I'm glad they put that function on there where you could uh, go straight to the desktop and you can get Call of Duty on it because you know it's not in Steam, so you gotta go out to go in. I mean, the gameplay's good, the screen is excellent. I, I wish it was bigger, but it's fine. I mean, it's fine. The uh, the grips on the side, I wish the grips over here, like the, the handles or whatever, had a little grippiness to it and it wasn't so smooth because just like this, it's a little, I wish I had a little grip to it. Yeah, I could put 
You know what? Another D brand skin over here, but yeah, I don't think so. It looks nice that way. I mean, it plays almost every game I throw at it, almost, because you know they're still adding new games every day. But not all the games work on it. You got, but you guys know that going in, you can go to Steam right now and see if your library is compatible with it. So when you get it, you know what games you can't play. Oh, okay. Uh, this thing is a monster and I actually pretty and I actually like it so but I guess while we're here we can give you guys a little size comparison let's see it's about the same size I think the Aya Neo next might be a little heavier yeah it's a little heavier okay hopefully you guys can see the size it's bigger than the Aya Neo by both width and length, but the screens are the same. The screens are the same size. The bezels on the top here are thicker than these ones. They are the same size on the side. The D pad, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna get to the comparison video at a later date. But you guys know me, let me know who you are by commenting down below. And you know what, why you, why you down below commenting? Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comparison video when I tell you guys which one I like the best. And I'm out, roll the outro.